detuning, it is good times. <laughs> Pretty much the reason I bought this this Loudon in 1997, I think, 96 maybe. Um, hey guys, I'm Pat McGee, and I was asked to show somebody how to play the song "Flooding Both of Us" off um, my 1997 Revel album. So it's um it's basically around that riff. Tune this down to D. Tune your low E down to D. And so you have this. It's your D chord. Sort of mess around with that all day if you wanted to. But um, So I tuned it down to D to check out the low end of this guitar. Put my fingers in this position, which I don't even know what this is. But you have, you take your second finger on the 4th fret of the 3rd string actually the 4th string, sorry so you have that and your 1st finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string so you're using your fingers, you're pulling the 2nd and 3rd strings D String. And you're muting the whole time with your palm on your right hand, so you got this. songs that I don't even think about when I play. It just sort of comes out of me and I don't, um, you know, seem to stumble with it too often live, but if I stumble with it here, it's because I'm thinking about it and I have to slow things down and when you slow things down and think about things, sometimes it doesn't come off as best as you would hope. So anyway, so that's the top and I'm going uh, from this, that's the verse as well as the top of the song. Fifth fret, third finger, right there. So you're just going from the D up here to the G. So you keep these fingers never move. play a, you've seen me use this chord a lot, it's a sort of an open E vibe. Let's move it down to the D. So you have first finger, fifth fret of the second, of the fifth string. You leave your middle finger off, your second finger, and you have this vibe. The whole thing is open. Going, leaving these two here. This is the. These guys are the seventh fret of the fourth string and the third string. Your um, third and fourth finger. So you have this. So you just go. Your 
dropping that first finger down, half step, then jump over to the sixth string. That's all you're doing. Here's the regular time. Don't cry, baby. Seventh fret, third string, sixth fret, second string, fifth fret. Play the, the high E open. Sneak that pinky in there. That's so crap, baby. Come in, hold the night. Turns around. We're gonna take us away from the stress of life. You're running out tomorrow. We eat all the time. Pick me up and shoot me up. You're so fine. Hey. Chorus. D. This is what helps to have a bass player because they're playing something a little bit different to keep it moving along, but this is how I wrote it. D. Don't cry, or is it? Hello. Can't find love in this room tonight. All I'm playing is D. No, not with the top. Without that. And then A is. Without the. So, D, A, essentially B minor, but I'm only doing, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of an A sus 7, something like that. Chorus D A B minor, not full. That's the last chord of the chorus. You got an A bass with an A seven sus, I think. Can't find love. Top, the end of that is just the top of the song. This whole thing. Add the pinky on the top. Flooding both of us. It's the same thing, I don't even move my hand. Solo, just in the verse. You're adding that G bass. You'll see 
us pick it up. If Keegan's playing with us and playing a sax solo, we'll, I'll start to get to the more of a strumming vibe. button there, adding some out of time percussion. So you get it? Any questions? Hit me back. It's all about this. One more time. Got it? Good. See you next time, class.